I went to Iraq and it wasn't like what I expected. Babylon. Many of you have probably heard about this place, but you might not know about its importance. This is where modern writing and mathematics were invented. Right here, it is in these lands that they created a movement which normalized taking notes and documenting history. Located about 80 to 90 kilometers southwest of Baghdad are the ruins of the great ancient city of Babylon, one of the earliest cradles of civilization. The name is actually a Greek version of the city's name. Most locals pronounce it as Babylon, which means the gate of gods. This king, king, how do you pronounce? This is Target. This is original gate. It's now in Germany. Now we will see the old gate. Now closed but open port. The, the original Ishtar gate was excavated and can be seen in Pergamon Museum in Berlin, Germany. But now we will see a lower gate already. What was taken away from Babylon was the top layer. Yes. What language is that? Now, can you form? Huh? Me, I'm in university because. Oh, and okay. her local ka dinger raki, the gate of God. The gate of God. Another her local ka dinger. God. Wait or think and grow. 7,000 years old. You can't hold it. You can't? <laughs> but you can't hold it. You can't hold it. You can't hold it. Okay. Can you see? Okay. Logal Ka Dinger Raki. The gate of God. The gate of God. Why cannot dig for this 14 meter? Can you see her water? Oh, they are no water. Yes, 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 water. Lower, lower, set. So, below, underground, yes, water? Yes, below, like this, yes. This, 
Everything else has been rebuilt from a massive restoration project that took place in the 80s. King! During the course of that, Saddam Hussein put bricks in the walls. Red granite for love and respect and will come. Take the red card and the wall blue. Blue for happiness. Can you see the gate are no secret? Yeah, this square for staff. For no, I'm sorry, for security and uh, reception. Okay, we will see the zone for the king. Please don't don't enter to the maze, please. We will search on you two days. I went into the maze and I got lost. It's been 186 days and I only have my phone with me. <laughs> and they still haven't found me yet. Send help, please. Send help. Never mind, I found them. <laughs> Me respect for daughter because boy now we are at home outside. No reading, so reading wait one minute, one minute. King and the queen. Yes. <laughs> These are the remainings of Babylon. Despite its rich history, not many people come here for a visit. And even some of the places need permission to access to these ruins as they're not used to people coming. Right now, I am at Saddam Hussein's palace. It sits right on top of the hill with the best views of the ancient city. So this is Saddam Hussein's Palace. It's been I'd be lying to you if I said this place wasn't at all creepy. Should I look inside here? The whole atmosphere feels dark and almost haunted. Never mind, it's too scary. Should I, should I not? Bye bye. Abandoned. Yes. Alhamdulillah, how are you? You're it's happy? all, all. Uh, You're happy? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Yes. You, you like eat uh, rice? Yes, yes, I do like eating rice. I love it. <laughs> this entire building is massive, but now it's completely vandalized. Wow, Saddam Hussein had elevator. All of the walls were covered by graffiti. Iraq is still very much new to tourism. It's a beautiful country enriched with food, history, and people of culture. These historical sites can serve as a reminder to us all. Even if it shows a tiny glimpse of the past, 
which can inspire us to achieve greater things in the future. And in the future, I really think that Iraq will be a popular destination for many people to come.